It's a level here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We've made it to the East Palace, as you can see. There's a pendant in there that Sahashrila wants us to retrieve to prove that we're serious. And, uh, let's do it. Alright. That's a switch, which will open that door, but, uh, let's, let's do a little exploring. Alright. Done exploring there. And I'll explore the other side, which... I got a bad feeling it's going to be the same thing, but we'll take a look. Why not? No harm. Yep. Same thing. So, let's move on. Now this switch, you just step on it, door opens, you go on through. Um, there's another switch there. That two for one. And took care of him, so you step on this floor panel. And there you go. So there's just different types of switches. They both kind of do the same thing. We've got some boulders coming at us. No, I... Oop. Okay. I did want to... Oh, uh, I was betting that it was going to come from the other side. And I was wrong. So... Uh, is there any value coming up here? I don't think so. This this gets you back to the beginning, pretty much. But... There... Oh. See? 100 rupees. I told... As I said before, money probably isn't going to be that much of a problem in this game. But... You know, if you want to if you want to save your money early on, that's fine. But uh, I'm probably going to be spending it uh, as quickly as I can, because uh, there is a there is a cap on how much you can hold. So maxing out isn't necessarily the best thing. I'm not going to grab that pot. Sometimes it's better to leave the pots in case you need hearts on the way back. Because some of them have money, some of them have hearts. I don't have you know I don't really know exactly which is which necessarily. Now these guys, if you swing at them, they'll jump away. See, that, that guy I cornered, but. I was trying, if you use the sword technique, they have trouble getting away in time. That's why I was trying to do that in the beginning there. Again, Link is drawing in his map here. You hit the X button. Um, you can already see um, where the treasure is. I guess we went through that room. I didn't remember seeing the treasure. I must have just passed it. Um, hmm. That's not going to get us anything, is it? Alright, so let's see if we can go a different route. That might be more helpful. Alright, there's an anti-fairy there. Or an anti-fairy or a fire fairy. Now, I'm guessing there's a switch in this room. There it is. This is the other side where we just were, and we're going to grab the map. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see what a full map looks like. Alright, so... A fairly big first floor, and not so big on the second floor. Although we've we've at least been in a bunch of the rooms already. I don't think we can go over here and do it. Oh, the oh, there's a pot. There are pots here. I had no idea. Huh. All right. Oh, well, you learned something new. Uh, actually, I could probably leave this room. No, no pots there. I did not know there were pots over there. That's... Alright, that's cool. Obviously, I did some very thorough practicing uh, when I was getting ready for this. Um, I don't think there's a way down the level below here. So, we'll come here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's the, uh, the big chest there. So, open this up for another heart. Toss that. And a little more exploring on this side. One down, two down. Let's not get away that time. Let's see. Oh, oh! Apparently the boomerang harms them. I did not know that either. I thought it just stunned them. Okay. More good information. Ah, I guess they were waiting for me to disarm myself. Very clever. Bombs and... Alright, so... There we go. Alright. Again, killing the enemies there. Open all the doors. Let's move. There's another chest. It's the compass. Alright. Now, what this will do is it'll tell you where the, where the dungeon boss is. Oh, sorry. I meant to bring up the map. So we can see the dungeon boss, or dungeon master, whatever, is up there on the second floor. 
Um, that's pretty much what the compass does. So now we've got... Oh, and also, if you look here in the lower right under my equipment, I've got the map and the compass listed. Now, as you recall... Oh, let's see what this does. Link, it is I, Sahashala. I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. Uh, here's a hint. You can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Alright, that's an important hint, actually. Oh, I can't. Okay. I guess I'm intended to come from the other direction. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Should be able to make that work. Got arrows. Whoa! Oh, wow! I threw it over him! Well, let me just see this. I just wanna... Yeah! Wow! Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Chest. Hey, it's locked. If you have the big key, you might be able to... Yeah. These chests, you need the big key. And you remember, in the dungeon that we rescued Zelda from, we actually got a big key. I just... I'm, I'm kind of enamored with the idea of killing them with my uh, boomerang now. And I believe there were... Yeah, there are a couple rooms I have to reach from the lower floor over on this side. So let's go see if we can do that. Alright, what's in here? Alright, can't see, so I'm gonna move. Right, at that point, it was just as well to take the hit. And now I'm gonna follow them around. That opens the door. Now, those anti fairies, I don't know if you saw or noticed, uh, when they damage me, they also take my, uh, my magic away. Or, not all of it, obviously, but they reduce your magic, so something to keep in mind. Well, I'll, um, I actually, there is a way to deal with those fairies um, and actually make them very useful. I haven't uh, acquired, you know, what I need to do that. I just didn't bother yet. I could have, you could have done that before coming in here. Uh, you could have, you know, gotten what you needed, but I didn't do that. Alright, so we've got the key now. This will allow us, and I think I think I know where this leads. This should be the upper level. Yeah, I remember uh, the first room here. That, that door was locked, so now we can get through and go on through over here to this part of the dungeon. All right. My guess is. All right. I'm getting a little too. I'm just get rid of this guy. There we go. Um, and you, you should probably be taken care of too. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be armed and dangerous for this guy. I don't think I can hurt. No, I can't. I think I can. not All right, see that? That released the anti fairies or whatever they are, dark fairies. Hopefully, they cannot climb steps. And we now have the big key. All right. So now we've gotten the, uh, the Masked Kid Dungeon. It's just like the other big key that we found. Uh, if we look at the map, we've been through most of the dungeon now. So what I would like to do... Well, I'd like those fairies to kind of move along, but it doesn't look like they're going to do that. So I'm probably going to take a hit here. Yeah. Or maybe two or three hits? Yeah, all right. Well, only so much I can do about that. I mean, I could have been patient. I guess I could have done that. Alright, let's see. Arrows, nice. Alright, now with the big key, we can open it. Found the bow, we can shoot arrows until you, you run out. like you just, you know, give those guys a punch in the nose and they run for their lives, those floating heads. So. Alright, I uh, would really rather not awaken multiple, multiple statue guys. Uh, red rupees, awesome. Alright, now I believe... Yeah, they're weak to those things. So let me... There we go. That makes things simpler. And there we go. Everyone's cleaned out. Should be good. Um... 
That's the key door, and I got the key. So let's uh, let's see what's in this room, because I think that key door is going to open up to some stairs. So let's just see what's over here, just out of curiosity. All right, so there's money down here. So just watch the anti, just watch the fairies as you're moving around and try to avoid them. Let's see how well I can do. Remember, each one of those blue ones is five rupees. So. Alright, so I got them all. Alright. So, like, again, to my point, money probably isn't going to be a problem for you in this game. The stairs up to the second floor. And uh, I'm just going to show you now that I've collected. Now that I've collected the treasure, you see how the, the big key was right next to the compass, but once you get the treasure, you, you get the big key, and it shows you that you've opened the treasure there. So, we are basically good to go. There's probably a switch here somewhere. There it is. And here we are. Okay. Kind of want to deal with these guys one at a time. Okay, it takes, it takes like a second to knock an arrow. Knock an arrow. And I don't know why I missed again. Um, all right, this is actually going very badly for me. All right, I missed again. I don't know why this is sucking. Well, all right, enough. I'm gonna to try to get out of here without taking damage. Yeah, I was, I guess, a little over anxious. I don't know. All right, that helps things a bit. They go back to sleep, and I think I need to kill this guy. Um, ugh, I'm down a few arrows. I actually want to have max arrows if I can. You know, what? I don't. I don't. Ugh, I forgot about this room. I was gonna try to get arrows from those guys, but now I just want to go. All right. Um, this could be sticky. Because I have run out of arrows before. Oh! Oh, I thought this was... Oh! I didn't look at the map correctly. Oh, alright. Alright. Alright, okay. just don't want anything else to... Uh... Alright, now I want to try to wake one of them up without waking them both. Mission failed. But I got one of them down already, so. Alright. I don't know what these guys are called. There we go. Alright, I'm at full arrows. And if there's at least one more heart, I'll be at full hearts. Alright. And now I'm going to face the boss. So I'm in, I'm in as good a shape as I can be. And I really don't want to miss. Change direction. Yeah, it takes like a second to kind of knock the arrow. That's uh, kind of kicking my ass. I got 11 arrows, so as long as I'm careful, I should be fine. There we go, got him. All right. When uh, when that last guy goes nuts, sometimes I have trouble hitting him, but it worked. I was okay. I had uh, seven arrows to spare. Yeah, there was one. There was one run where I ran out of arrows, and I had to kill him with the sword. Um, you won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to Sahashrila. Two pendants remain. Yeah, and you, you saw I got a heart container, and you get a life refill whenever you complete them. But, yeah, I had to complete him. I had to kill him with a sword. It took forever to kill the guy with the sword. So, I just did not want to repeat that, so. Something I found out in my practice run. 
Try to avoid using the sword if you can. Or at least this sword, anyway. Yeah, there, there might be other... There's obviously going to be the Master Sword, which is better. But you can't really fight those guys with the Master Sword. So... Alright, let's so, show Sahashwala that uh, we mean what we say. Oh, you got the Pendant of Courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an, an order of knights protected the royalty of Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place when, sev when the seven wise men created their seal. Among the descendants of the knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see Link. I see. Link, I believe you. I Link, I believe you. Uh, you should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. It is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. I, I think when he's saying he believes us, he gave us some peg Pegasus shoes and now we can do a dash attack. So hold the A button. Uh, a helpful item in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylia. Go get it. All right. I'll go get it. Um, I th when he says he believes us, I think he says he believes that we're serious about trying to get the Master Sword. Would be my guess. So you can see there, I didn't use a bomb. I used my dash attack and bashed the wall. And I mean, if I had used the bombs, I would have gotten more, so it wouldn't have been a big deal. But it's just some money and some bombs, so it wasn't imperative that I get it right away. So to the east of Lake Hylia, there's an item. Um, Let's go see if we can go grab that, but uh, that'll have to wait until uh, next time. For now, this is Ensign Level, and the journey does continue next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past.